In today's video, we're going to be having a look at the 30th anniversary Mega Man Deluxe figure from the folks over at Jack's Pacific. Yes, can you believe since 1987, Mega Man's been defeating level bosses and foiling the plans of the evil Dr. Wily. Jack Specific, loyal fans of Mega Man themselves have released the deluxe version of Mega Man here that features 35 motion and accessory activated sound effects. So how big is this mega-sized Mega Bomber? Let's find out. We'll put it right to the top of Mega Man's head and stopping it right there. There we go. The figure stands 12.2 inches in height. That's a really big Mega Man. Switching that over to centimeters, then the figure stands at 31.2 centimeters in height. Now what's really neat about this Mega Man though is that he has motion activated sound effects. I've currently just got them turned off right now because they'll go off on random. A lot of them actually just involves you moving things on Mega Man will the sound effects then be triggered. The battery compartment is located on the back. Fear not, the folks over at Jack Specific already include batteries so you don't have to worry about buying those first off. On the top of his head is the on, off and try me button to which I'll set it to uh, on in a second and I'll show you. He also comes included with a bunch of weapon bosses add-ons. Uh, here we have the rolling cutter from Cutman done in a clear plastic. Well it's not completely clear. You can see that it's subtly got more of a smokier sort of coloring to it and it will plug into the Mega Buster. Also included is the Hyper Bomb from the Bomb Man stage. Here again, done in translucent or clear plastic. They've even put a little, little wick on the top there, which is a nice touch. They all plug in the exact same way. You can see that the connectors are identical to one another. It's neat though, how somehow it does trigger different sound effects. Again, I'll show you in a second. And the last one is the Ice Slasher add-on, which this one's a little bit different. Actually, all of them are a little bit different from one another. This one's a little bit more smokier color. This one, a little less than that. And this one is a translucent blue plastic that's got some really neat icicles there molded to the top. And again, I'll show you all of that in a second. But let's first have a look at Mega Man, who very faithfully recreated from the way, not quite his old 8-bit days, but certainly from what I consider Mega Man, he's definitely got a great Mega Man mega face. Uh, they've done a great job here of adding some panel lining there right underneath his eyes and around the outside sides of his eyes. Got his mouth there. A little bit of a smile happening on Mega Man's face. Now he doesn't have any, well he doesn't have considerable amounts of posability. Like for example his head rotates, we'll look at that right now. This one arm moves out because it's not restricted by something that's going to trigger a sound effect like the Mega Buster here. The arm will hinge out, you could also move it forward and back. He does also have a bend at the elbow on this arm, and you can also rotate his, his big giant fist. This arm, because so much of it is electronic, you can move it forward and you can move it back. That's it. And as for the legs, you can move those forward. Look at the size of Mega Man's feet. You can move those back. You can't move them out, and you can also bend at the knee. He's got nice bend hinges at the knee. I wish there was a way to permanently kind of keep him in a running pose. But as you could probably guess it, it's sort of hard to balance him. He does want to kind of topple over on you. I guess, well, there we go. If you move his arm back, it sort of can offset his weight and you can have him in a running pose that way. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so let's talk sound effects. Now this guy does have a lot. He's got motion activated sound effects and then he's also got sound effects that you trigger using things, using the weapons, for example or using the button located on the side of the Mega Buster. So we're gonna go ahead and switch him on. And we don't really, we can avoid the try me button. The try me button will just basically cycle through some sound effects. Like for example. But 
for the full effect, we're gonna switch it over to on. What's really neat about it though, is it will play the opening starting sound effects as you see when we turned it on. And then when you turn it off, it plays the game over screen, which I think is a nice little nice touch to it. Okay, so let's go ahead and switch it to on. And again, we've got our level stage uh, background music. Then if you go ahead and press the button on the top again, this button right here, you've got Mega Man's music. Now in this state, if you do move the figure, you can hear that he does make moving sounds. And he has jumping sounds. And he'll basically cycle through a whole bunch of different audio clips. Now, if you go ahead and raise his arm, you'll see that it lights up. You can also independently press that by pressing the side of the button. And you can see that the, there's a little light bulb that turns on in the process. And we'll just turn that off for the time being. So again, bringing the arm up, we'll fire the Mega Buster. Moving Mega Man, we'll have him, as if he's jumping on things, we'll be moving and running. You can also drop him and he'll play the explosion sound effect. And you can also pick him back up as if he's got a power up. Already, you can see that he has a lot of sound effects. Now, let's grab a couple of his weapons. For that, we're gonna go ahead and take one and plug it in. This is the hyper bomb. When you plug it in, his audio will change to the level's sound, the level's music, as well as it will also change the sound effects. So let's pop that in. You can see it plays this the background music from the Bomb Man level. And now when we press this, it's gonna be throwing the bombs. Okay, we can turn that off again by topping the press, topping, hitting the top button of in his head. We'll go ahead and pop that off. Let's now cycle through to the rolling cutter. And again, same effect, same way of working it. Just plug it into place. And press the side. We'll play the sound effect of him throwing the cutter. And again, moving the legs, we'll have him as if he's running and firing. And again, you just turn the button on the top to shut it off. We'll go ahead and pull this out. And the last one, we'll go ahead and take the ice slasher and plug that into place. And press the button. I'm wondering if they did use a clear plastic or translucent plastic so that the light would reflect or cast its way into the plastic. You don't quite see it though. You see a little bit here with primarily most of it being shown here. And again, moving Mega Man's legs will have him jumping and running and leaping. And again, dropping him will have him explode. We'll go ahead and press the button on the top again. It is a really cool Mega Man, being able to cycle through as many sound effects as it does. I don't know how they managed to do it, especially with the weapons, because it says, it seems as if like the weapons are the same peg point. There must be something in there. Oh, it's probably, if I'm looking at it here, just turn them off here for a second. The connector points are exactly, this exactly the same at the bottom, but you'll see that almost like a key, the these little notches here are different in size. This one's a little higher than this one. This connector point is a little bit higher than this one right here. That is probably what's causing the different sound effects to be selected with Mega Man here. A really nice release 
from Jax Pacific, giving me basically everything I would want in a Mega Man. The sound effects, the motion activated effects, and also being able to incorporate these. I would love to see them also do something similar with Mega Man 2 as well. Now that we're knee deep into the holiday shopping season, oh, I love those days. Christmas is fast approaching, it's right around the corner. You can hide from it all you want, but Christmas is almost here. I can't believe we're even talking about Christmas. We just finished talking about Halloween. But if you are interested in picking one of those Christmas gift ideas for your kids, or if you want to pick up something for yourself, I think this one is going to be one of those cool Christmas ideas that every kid is going to want. Granted, yes, Mega Man 1 will cater a lot of more of the older collectors like myself who played the game growing up. I still remember picking up Mega Man for $35 at a flea market when I was 10 years old. $35. That was a lot of money for an old game back in the day, but Mega Man 1 has some fond memory for me. I played more Mega Man 2 and Mega Man 3 than I did anything else, but I still remember picking up Mega Man 1 for $35. I'm getting way off topic. Holiday season, like I said, is fast approaching. I think kids are definitely going to be interested in a Mega Man that cycles through 35 different phrases all of which can be triggered by moving his limbs, pressing a button on his head, or changing out to the various different interchangeable swapped accessories. I would love to see them maybe incorporate a Mega Man 2, like I said in the course of this review. A Mega Man 2 with the same sort of idea, or, unless Jax has already considered this, this Mega Man may have had also the possibilities of swappable parts, maybe from Mega Man 2. This could be something that they could sell as a standalone add-on, where you can pick up the boss level weapons and you can use it with this Mega Man. But I think this one is is exclusive to Mega Man 1. Maybe we'll get a Mega Man 2 version of this. We can only hope. But I think this is going to be one of those hot Christmas gift ideas. Get it now while you can. The deluxe version of Mega Man is currently available in stores right now should you wish to pick this one up for yourself. Uh, an absolutely fun toy to pick up and play. As you could probably tell over the course of this review, I had a blast reviewing this because I'm a big fan of Mega Man and the fact that it does have so many different sound effects. I can probably tell you this. After this review is finished, Mega Man is probably going to be hanging out with me for a little bit after that. Today, like I said, we were playing and having a look. I slipped saying playing. I was playing with it. We were having a look at the new Jack Specific Mega Man Deluxe version. Hey, now, you want to go back and have a look at some of my other Jack Specific reviews? Don't worry, there's a playlist designated for that. If you guys also want to check out some new World of Nintendo and Mega Man items from Jack Specific, we're going to have some videos coming up in the next little while, so stay tuned for that. And as always, guys, thanks for watching, as you always do. I'll see you next time.